Launching right into it, um, as the name suggests, we have some interesting psychedelic investment opportunities here. I found an interesting list while skulking around the internet uh, at WSTNN.com. Now, this website isn't particularly well made, which is why I'm not necessarily recommending you to go to this website, although I'm going to include this link and 60 uh, or 59 other links. It's going to be a total of 60 links for the 25 different um, investment opportunities that I think you will find interesting. WSTNN, not really a good website. Let's go ahead and take a look at it right here. Um, it gives this small little title, psilocybin and other psychedelic stocks. Um, gives a very uh, less than basic understanding of what you're supposed to know on the subject. And then it says click here for the list. And I was very... Um, I was very hesitant to click that, but I did anyway. It's a wonder I don't have more viruses on my computer. Um, and it went ahead and took me to this Excel sheet. Uh, we have uh, many different companies here, uh, all the way from Compass Pathways, Mind Medicine, Champignon Brands, um, even including my boy Haven. Um, oh wait, no, actually they don't include Haven. I, Haven is something I had to include myself. Um, I'm actually talking about Red Light Holland. Um, most of this is on the Canadian exchange. Uh, a lot of these companies are Canadian, uh, but you will of course have some from uh, Europe, uh, even um, China with the Wuhan General Group, which I thought was very interesting going into this. And then they have some also uh, some other interesting picks like Graph Blockchain um, and a lot of these companies that are more so uh, satellites around these psychedelic investment opportunities. For example, Graph Blockchain had an LOI to acquire Shroom Street, um, Global Track Solutions, they have the Microdose Monthly Newsletter, uh, and there's a whole bunch of different uh, connections that um, WSTNN ended up uh, giving as, as to why they have these uh, various various uh, names right here. But um, I went ahead and added a couple of my own onto it. I'll be giving my own uh, summary of each of these brands, and they're most of, they're mostly going to be the same, uh, at least in the way that they are trying to present themselves. So let's go ahead and dive into it. First, we're going to go to Compass Pathways. Now, Compass Pathways, uh, navigating mental health pathways. We think differently about mental health, so you can too. Um, <laughs> Our vision is a world of mental well-being. Compass is a mental health care company dedicated to accelerating uh, patient access, yada, yada, yada. We, we get the point. This is going to be the basic point between all of these different companies. They want to have the corner on mental health. They are sensationalizing this... Uh, they are sensationalizing the ability to focus on your mental well-being, which uh, I, I like because I like the fact that people are catching on to it more. I'm just afraid what will happen if it goes too far and people take this as a um, health fling instead of an actual uh, substantial look into your own life and into what you need to see about your own life. Um, so let's keep going on here. Their uh, current value is at $55.03, and this is on the U.S. NASDAQ. Uh, if we go to a year to date, um, we're still right around the high point here. Uh, initially, when it started back in just September, of 2020, uh, we see that they started out at $29 and that they've just consistently been going up. So there's definitely some uh, reason to go ahead and continue on looking at uh, Compass 
uh, pathways. After Compass Pathways, we have MindMed. Now I've uh, taken a look at MindMed, Breakthrough Mental Healing, Psychedelic Inspired Medicines, and exper uh, Experiential Therapies. When we go to Psychedelic Inspired Medicines, it's going to take you to We Are Pioneering Medicines, so Microdose LSD, um, talking about the generation of Adderall, 10 million adults suffering in the U.S. from ADHD. I don't know. There's... There's a lot of debate as to the statistics on ADHD, so let's just take that at, okay, they're, they're trying to sell you on this. They like to give consistent progress updates, and that's another thing you're going to find about a lot of these other companies is that they're very invest heavy. They want you to invest in them. They are giving you constant um, updates as to what they are doing. From MindMed, we go on to their... Um, to their trade. So right now it is at $3.85, that's Canadian dollars. It's going to be a little less um, on the U.S., um, on any of the U.S. markets. We go to now uh, Champignon Brands, capitalizing on the emergence of psychedelic medicine for mental health. Once again, they are so investment heavy that they want to give you their uh, tickets uh, so that way you can just go straight to them and um, and take a look at how they're doing, hopefully getting you to invest. Uh, a lot of these, uh, and a lot of the same companies are also going to give uh, the exact same investment ploys that they, they want to continue to tell you that this is a $10 billion current market for ph uh, pharmacological DPS treatments, um, over 75%. Uh, of people with DPS that are inadequately treated. They then go down to their leadership, and if we look up their CEO and director, Roger McInter. Dr. Roger McInter is currently a professor of psychiatry and pharmacology at the University of Toronto and head of mood disorders pharma, uh, psychopharmacology unit at the University Health Network in Toronto, Canada. Uh, so he definitely has a lot of experience on this. Uh, and that's another thing you want to look for is that you have these people who uh, not only are experienced in the field, but also have these degrees that can make people more confident in you. Although um, I would trust, I would trust someone who has been uh, uh, researching without a degree for a long time than I would trust someone with a degree that has not researched. So this is pretty cool that he is at the uh, Kremble Research Institute. So from uh, Champignon Brands, we go to Revive Therapeutics, a life science company focused on research and development for therapeutics for rare disorders and infectious diseases. Their cannabinoid pharmaceutical portfolio focuses on rare inflammatory areas such as liver disease. So they're trying to become a little bit more specialized. Uh, that's another tactic that these... Uh, that these people are trying to use. They basically have the same message. We're coming across. We're trying to help with with mental health, um, or with therapeutics, and uh, and they give uh, their their ticket right here. So revive therapeutics seems like another uh, another interesting look, especially when we go to their uh, stock prices right now. On the U.S., uh, it's currently at. 53 cents. A lot of these are going to be penny stocks. Um, and a lot of these are going to be highly speculative, especially since um, it's just something that people are trying to get an edge on right now. You're going to have a lot of more, you are going to have more established uh, therapeutics companies, research companies all on this subject. But um, the the big thing right now is trying to figure out which ones, which of these penny stocks you want to invest in so that way you can um, make the most bang for your buck. We continue on to Thoughtful Brands. Now, Thoughtful Brands, uh, they don't have a website, at least not one that I could find. Uh, what I was able to find is a lot of um, talking about them. It's a lot of talk. We continue on to their uh, their stock, and it's currently at three, almost four cents. We go to their uh, year to date, 
And at one point in time, they were up around 20 cents and they've just been steadily going down. But once again, this was back in uh, August of 2020. And uh, I mean, the, the, for the for the very fact that it has just started recently, you know, it's only about four months old. Uh, I'm still holding out hope that it will be able to eventually bounce back, especially when there is more interest um, going into it. But you know what they should focus on is getting a website. That would be uh, probably pretty good for them right now. Uh, we continue on to hear Thoughtful Brands is firing on all cylinders as it builds a global portfolio of cannabis and natural health brands. So once again, that's their uh, that's their market. That's what they're going for. Uh, we now go on to Numinous, psychedelic assisted psychotherapy to heal and be well. Same sort of thing. Um, we go to their stock. Let's go down to their year of date. Uh, started out at a dollar and went up to a little over $2. Uh, but this is once again on the Canadian. These are Canadian uh, dollars because once we go to their um, U.S., it's going to be more around $0.97. Cents. And we go back to their uh, year-to-date, and it's going to show us that it was really more so up around uh, nearing $2, $1.70 thereabouts. So uh, Numinous Wellness, I think, I don't know, there's something, that's, there's something that seems interesting about these guys, uh, especially the way that they are branding themselves. Um, it's very artsy. It's very, we envision a world. Um, they're trying to really sell you almost in a, a religious form as to how they're uh, their way of doing it is better than everyone else's way of doing it. Starting with our original Vancouver clinic. I like that original Vancouver clinic, uh, considering a lot of these uh, places come out of Vancouver, come out of Canada or go into Canada for the, uh, for the market. Um, ketamine assisted psychotherapy, special access for psilocybin and NVMA, compassionate, compassionate, access trials for uh, psilocybin and MDMA. Uh, transformative change is needed. 971 million people worldwide currently suffer from a mental disorder. Well, I mean, when you continue to diagnose people with mental disorders because they don't fit the perfect human form, then of course you're going to have uh, 971 million. Uh, one in two Canadians will be affected by mental health issues by the age of 40. Well, of course you are because that's a part of the human experience. Um, one in 11 Canadian adults will suffer PTSD in their lifetime. And this is the one right here that I find more appealing than any of these other ones. Because what is, what does this mean right here? Four, 450,000 people worldwide died from drug use in 2015. Yes, it can and has been known to help, um, with, uh, with combating drug use. Um, and this is a serious problem, but I think the way, uh, in which, um, in which you'll be able to sell more people on the subject is PTSD because PTSD is usually something that is not self-inflicted, whereas drug use, um, really can be far more self-inflicted. Um, there's, there's a lot more, uh, complexity to that. Um, this right here is, is sort of the, um, that's, that's, that's the one that I would focus most on. We continue on from Numinous into, uh, Cap, uh, Captiva Verde. So Captiva Verde curates trusted cannabis and hemp brands that enhance people's lives. Um, very interesting branding. Once again, it shows this holistic path that has some crystals over here, an ostrich feather, you know. I, I don't know what the ostrich feather is for, but, you know. We build safe and sustainable communities for families. Okay, well, that's, that's interesting. They're in the business of uh, suburbs, real estate. Um, and, uh, and so, once again, a very interesting... Very, very interesting kind of, of people here. We go to their real estate. 
uh, in partnership with Greenbrier Capital, Sage Rants, land plant, uh, land use plan, a solar gram, uh, portfolio company produces premium handcrafted outdoor organic Canadian cannabis. We go to just exactly who they are. And I mean, <laughs> Captiva Verde is a global health and wellness company. Our assets include sustainable real estate communities, premium infused products, consumer retail partnerships, infused product distribution in, uh, in Mexico. So they're just saying that they have their hand in a lot of different uh, honeypots right now. Their stock and it is currently a you know at 20 cents. I'm interested in these investment portfolios. You know they 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 want to invest in these so that they can get a good uh, profit off of them. And you know if they get a good profit, then this goes up. Well, potentially. Whoops, sorry about that. I'm going to have to add another one to the list. Looks like this is not going to be an even 25, but is instead going to be a whole 26 links. And the reason for this, I could have just continued on and then threw this in with another list later on, but Hollister Biosciences, I think, is uh, worth the look at, especially because it took me a little while to figure out Okay, they, they are obviously a cannabinoid, um, a, a cannabis company. And I look at what they're doing. I go to their news page, which is great for any of these companies. We go down to uh, their coronavirus impact, less sanitizer, more weed. Uh, <laughs> but this is really what I wanted to take you to right here is Hollister Biosciences enters letter of intent and LOI to acquire Alpha Mines brand. Um, Hollister Biosense is the creator of uh, California's number one hash-infused pre-roll, Hashbone. Uh, I, I like how it's the number one of a very specific uh, thing. Hash-infused pre-roll, Hashbone, number one, okay. Enters uh, into letter of intent to acquire Alpha Mine brands, a company developing exciting product SKUs in the legal medicinal uh, mushroom market and con uh, conducting R&D research and development for pharmaceutical applications for psilocybin. So, um, once again, uh, Hollister, uh, also, because I used to live near Hollister, uh, I'm, I really, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of rooting for this brand right here, Holl Hollister Cannabis Co. Um, and that's one of the cool things about these cannabis companies coming in, um, is just as the mushroom community, I guess you could call it, um, has been supporting cannabis through its legalization. Now that cannabis has its foot in the door and a lot of these cannabis companies have the money, they are now kind of uh, falling back and saying, hey, uh, let's go ahead and, and bring you along for the ride, especially since um, especially since the, this really can be a, a profitable market. And I, and I hope that it does become a profitable market. So we go back to Hollister Biosciences. Um, this, this market watch right here, uh, saying that they, um, Holster Biosciences, Sciences, a hundred percent owned subsidiary Venom Extracts achieves final 40 million revenue milestone. And this, I think is also something to pay attention to. Are these acquisitions going on between all of this various holistic, uh, companies? And, and, you know, this isn't really, uh, I mean, yeah, it's holistic in some sense, but, you know, Venom Extracts, we go and look at Venom Extracts. Uh, click past that. Fully tested, fully compliant about COVID-19. We have all of these various things right here. Crumble, shatter, batter, butter. We go to Holster Biosciences, originally at 13 cents opening. Um, and then we go to uh, 29 cents today. Uh, this... I think this is very promising. Uh, don't I mean don't take any uh, ed, don't take any actual investment advice from me because I don't want to be responsible for any of that. These are these are all links that you can go and research these things for yourself, and I'm just giving a summary of it. But twenty nine cents right now, it seems to be holding steady for. I mean, what ten days? I mean, not ste it's not steady, steady, but it's it's still in that range. Now we go on to better plant sciences. You know, we leverage modern science to make natural products that work. Not all sanitizers are created equal. <laughs> so 
<laughs> so they're going to go in on the whole hand sanitizer thing, um, kind of play off the, the paranoia that's going on right now. Go to their, also their year to date. Uh, early on, they were about 20 cents. You know, they were sitting pretty comfortably at that mark, and then they just took a dip and then continued going down fairly steadily until recently they hit a peak back at 18 cents. Uh, looks like everyone went, well, this is probably the best opportunity we're going to have to get off this train. So um, some of them, some of them probably sold right there. We now have Medicine. Medicine Innovations Group, revolutionizing nature's medicine for mental health and vitality. Um, uh, it's definitely focusing on that holistic front, uh, uh, people living in Oregon type thing. Uh, MHS, uh, Neurofarm Inc., Mind Leap, all within these innovation, this innovation group. Um, and I mean, that's, it makes sense that you have all of these small players getting together to become one large player. And they have, they even have their own four investors page. Uh, this gives a general look at it, you know, we can go to their five year. Okay, so once at 13, now at 28 cents. So, I don't know, maybe they don't want that there. <laughs> They've shown that they can get to that point before, uh, but... You know, I'm going to continue to just uh, blow through these because uh, I'm, I feel like I'm a broken record now just saying, you know, holistic group, uh, they're all together in on one thing. Uh, oh, yeah, this is one that I should stop for and explain. Green Star Biosciences. Let's go back to the list right here. Green Star Biosciences. Um, this, their, their main website is not secure, so... I just decided to not go in at all. That doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have to go in and check it out. Maybe I'm just being a little over uh, paranoid, but I don't want to give you anything that um, that would potentially endanger you. Also, uh, I don't want to limit you from getting all of your information, so I just put a warning right next to it saying not secure. Um, so I wasn't actually able to totally read up on them, but to compensate for that, I added in an article um, uh, talking talking about them. Uh, and the, we have a sort of general same thing for the Wuhan uh, general group, where they also talk about them in the morning uh, star.com. Uh, we go back to Green, Bio, uh, Green Star Biosciences, uh, and then this says Loeb Scientist LTD at 10 cents. Uh, move on to Green Star Biosciences signs definitive agreement to acquire 100% of Elysian uh, Biosciences Corporation, uh, a very strategic acquisition by Green Star to add innovative company focused on the development of effective therapeutics using psychedelic medicine. Yes, I hope that it's effective. I hope that it was a strategic acquisition. Um, Illusion is a private company focused on the development of medical devices and therapeutics for specific diseases. So that's kind of, that's where they're trying to get in. Now we have Wuhan General Group, and I don't entirely know what they're doing. But hey, they had a little spike recently of four cents. So, you know, penny stock. Um, but that was not always so. We go to their all time, and we'll see that... Yeah, yeah, so, uh, you know, 2,900, and uh, it's been sitting pretty steady right here. I don't necessarily know what happened here. Um, maybe I should have researched that more, because now I'm actually interested. But, once again, I, uh, I, I, I added something along, so that way I'm, it's not like I'm totally unaware of this. Uh, Wuhan General Group expands into UK market with Medspresso. This is very interesting that a, a, a Chinese company like Wuhan General Group, the, um, that they are a bioceutical company focused on alternative plant-based cannabinoids and psilocybin medical research, is pleased to announce the following corporate update of Medspresso. This was on December 18th. Of 2020, so not too long ago. Um, a lot of these companies and a lot of these uh, articles that you are seeing are 
fairly recent, um, all within this last year. Uh, it's there's a race right now. There is a huge race right now, um, and just like a just like a, a horse race, we have people betting. And if you bet on the winner, then you're going to win it all. And that's that's the coolest part about this. A company is set to expand into the European market with its recently launched Mitzpresso line of CBD infused hot beverages. Um, also, CBD infused African coffees, teas, and hot chocolate. So they're targeting they're targeting that Starbucks group right now. They they want to get into this uh, into this coffee uh, addiction area and 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 infuse CBD with it. Um, the market response for Mitzpresso has been nothing short of spectacular. Consumers are loving the products and the brand. We will always work as hard as we can to earn and keep the loyalty of our customers by delivering exceptional products far beyond expectations, said Wuhan General Group CEO Jeff Robinson. Um, let's continue on to New Wave. <laughs> new Wave. Uh, I, I, I wish they had some New Wave music playing as it came on, just so that you could, you could get into the feel of things. Uh, New Wave isn't just defining the mycological industry. We're leading it. Uh, I, I don't know if they're actually leading it. I mean, we go here and it's nine cents. I mean, that, that isn't necessarily an indicator of like leading. You know, you can lead in many ways, but you know, nine cents. Uh, we go to their all. Once upon a time, they were at. Uh, ooh, a little over a hundred. Um, but now it's been holding fairly consistent. Well, not fairly consistent. They've been consistently going down, I should say. Um, and now we are at this point. So once upon a time, they were there. Maybe they can get back. Who knows? But um, we continue on to Codebase Ventures. Codebase Ventures Incorporated invests early in great ideas and sectors that have significant upside. We seek the innovators who are establishing tomorrow's standards. So, you know, invest in us, we invest in other people. That's how it works. Um, keep going on. Currently at 14, no, no, 15 cents. We go to their all. Once upon a time, $2.60. Now down to 14. So, yeah, I mean... It is what it is. That's that's kind of the the thing with all of these. Like they they set forth and boom, we're out on the market. We're we're the leading innovators. We're gonna do this, um, and everything else just doesn't go at the same rate that these people are going at. So they're burning out, um, but they can come back. I believe any of these can come back. Uh, just depends what happens. Um, pharma drug at the leading edge of psychedelics and med uh, medical cannabis in Europe. Um, look at our segments. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that, but it's not like we're going back to it. Uh, six cents right now, all time. Once upon a time, uh, they were at about 30 cents. Um, and they've recently gone up from less than one cent. So that's not terrible if you got in at one cent i mean if this continues to go up one cent that's a that's a solid penny stock um <laughs> we go on to red light holland underground to the mainstream now their big perk right here is red light holland featured on the joe rogan experience uh red light holland's goal is to over time help make the relatively unknown magic truffle a familiar name across the world. We are currently setting up to grow, distribute, and market a premium brand of magic truffles to the legal recreational markets within the Netherlands. And we can't wait to shift the existing uh, paradigm to direct further attention to the legal and responsible use of magic truffles. Um, legal and responsible use. Yeah. Well, yeah. I won't, I won't talk about that. So um, this is also pretty awesome because uh, th these are the companies that I like the most. They're the ones, uh, especially with the, with the shroom uh, industry that's starting to develop. These are the ones that are trying to get ahead by um, putting themselves into the market right now. They might not be 
necessarily making entirely psychedelics. They'll be focusing on other uh, types of mushrooms and holistic medicines as well. Uh, but they're they're getting their footing so that way when the time comes, they can go into it as if business as usual. Uh, we can now continue on into um, Red Holland's um, <laughs> Red Holland's uh, stock, which, by the way, I love uh, I love their their identification right here. Trip. It's. I, I, I appreciate that attention to detail as well. It's it's fun. Uh, high of 36, started at 20, now it's starting to go down. But that's a very general look at all of this. And we go back and it's, you know, 5, five 2020. Um, now, Roadman Investment Corp, another one of these investment companies. Uh, that's all I'm basically going to say right there. Another investment company. Uh, down at a penny right now. We go on to RF Brands Genetic uh, and Breeding, uh, Extraction and Ingredients, Formulation and Consumer Goods. So they're saying that they're innovating, um, they're doing, and they're selling. Uh, RF Defined, uh, their claim to frame, fame right now is being on stocktube.com. Now, something else that's about them, they're at 12 cents. Um, let's go to their all time. Currently at 12, once upon a time, a dollar and 72 cents. Uh, we go on to graph blockchain. This pick, <laughs> I sound like a broker record saying that this was interesting and these are all interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I bet that's a little uh, self-explanatory right now. Now the reason for graph blockchain, like I mentioned, uh, much earlier in the video was their LOI to acquire Shroom Street. The proposed acquisition is a result of the formal review announced in September 18th of 2019, whereby management and the board of directors set out to identify strategic initiatives that could complement the company's blockchain technology in new verticals that create shareholder value. They're trying to expand right now. They're trying to figure out how they can make themselves more successful. Um, it's a psychedelic focused brand. Implementing our private blockchain solutions into Shroom Street's online marketplace will ensure the integrity and security of all transactions on the company's e-commerce marketplace. So they're going to take control of this and they're going to make sure that it's secure. Um, they have the uh, they have the defenses and now they will have their attack. The next. Uh, and uh, almost final company, I believe, uh, Global Track Solutions, inspiring a new path to innovative solutions in a world driven by digital media. Uh, they have their little, their little mark right there. At Global Track Solutions, we are integrating media, creativity, and technology to develop and deploy thought-provoking ideas and solutions that are fostering and transforming the approach to some of society's most pressing matters. Of course, very general we're we're um we're intelligent and we're focusing on society problems. That's what we do. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, I understand. What motivates us? Our passion is deeply rooted in an entrepreneurial spirit that is motivated by identifying and serving underserved industries and market sectors. Once again, I don't really know <laughs> what that means. New opportunities typically start with a conversation, so let's talk. It's like we're we're doing cool stuff. Um, Want to know what we're doing? Talk with us. Okay. Um, we go to them. They're, you know, almost two cents. They're almost two cents right now. I would like a more immediate plan from them. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe they do have one. I just, when I looked at it, I wasn't interested enough to continue on with it. Um, $400, uh, 103 and now two cents. Now, uh, Heaven Life uh, says that they are the future of psychedelic medicine. They have their tickers up here. Uh, our story, find out what inspires us to support mental health disorders. So they have, um, they have, they have a story. They have something that you can invest in. There is some, there's some lore behind what they're doing. 
uh, our mission, our team, using a foundation of evidence-formed research. We want to empower people to achieve their potential and thrive. They have their own labs. Um, I believe I've done a, uh, a video on having life, um, and they're, they're, they're an interesting look. Uh, we go on to them right now. Uh, currently, it's at $1.15 Canadian, and let's go to their all-time. Now, this is what I like the most about them. As of the 13th, they uh, peaked and went down to uh, $1.15, so just $0.04. Cents. We go to uh, Pure Extracts. I've, I've also, I um, believe I've done a video on Pure Extracts. Uh, let's just go straight on to their, uh, their price. They're currently at 60 cents closed. Uh, we go to all time. Once upon a time, $2.40. Once upon a time, uh, $3 and 50 cents and now 60 uh, cents. Now we have field trip, uh, psychedelic therapies that bring you to life, evidence-based legal psychedelic therapies to help you heal depression and feel better. They got to go on that legal front because they don't want to get the crap beaten out of them. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff here. We help our patients overcome stress, bad habits, lack of purpose, feeling lost. Field Trip is a new kind of mental wellness company. We combine the wisdom and science of psychedelic medicine with personalized psychotherapy, mental health, wellness practices. <laughs> Uh, go on to their Yahoo News. Field Trip Psychedelics Inc. In, uh, announces closing of 11 million financing entry into amalgamation agreement with Newton Energy Corporation as of August 24th, 2020. Both events important milestones to highly anticipated public listing. Of course, correct me if I'm wrong on any of these things. Um, I, this has been mostly a, a link gathering uh, mission on my part, but um, right now it seems as though they are not currently publicly traded. Um, they're just uh, they're just field trip right now. E have currently at fifteen cents. They say uh, E have expands its psychedelic. Jeez, okay. E have expands its psychedelic mental health platform with MedChart. Um, they're focusing on the entire electronics part, which is, I suppose, the E in the E have. Uh, launches Premier Psychedelic, Premier Psychedelic Retreat Centers Partnership. I think that's cool. Partnership for blockchain-based identity verification software for the medical industry. Valuable, insightful data. That's, I mean, from your phone to anything else. I don't, I don't know if I necessarily like that, but hey, it's uh, usually anything that goes with this. Ehab also has a Speak plugin. Mental health healing begins with the full snapshot of your entire health. This means collecting and organizing all data. They, they want all of your data. They, they want to know every single thing about you. Of course, it's going to, you know, it's going to help you be healthier. That's that's the way that we're going to solve this problem uh, is is for you to be healthier. Uh, uh, keyboard extraction, uh, keyboard extraction, huh? Topic inference. Identify the main topics based on speech content. Okay, searchable media. Uh, we transcribe and analyze media for you. No more scrolling through audio and video thumbnails. Uh, it tracks recognized prescription brands mentioned in spoken content or displayed on screen during videos. So again, it will give you its version of the truth. Ehav is currently at 15 cents. Um, we go to their all time. Once upon a time, 50, now uh, 15. And now finally, we have the weirdest one of them all. As, there have been there have been some you know holistic ones. It's it's fine. You know this this is what they're doing. This is what they're focusing on. We come to Delacorp. Oh boy, oh boy. This is uh, this is interesting. As seen in the Joe Rogan Daily Beast. Oh, you know if it's good if it's in the Daily Beast. Uh, the the Doctor Drew podcast, NBC. Um, they're they're an open book. You can look into them. And what's the most open book part about them has to be their 
uh, their store page, their online marketplace. Um, find your experience, upgrade your journey, of course. Yeah, they, they're focusing on a very sensual, elitist uh, front here, which, you know, is, is interesting. We go down to, well, yeah, maybe I should just uh, skip. Uh, Della Holdings Incorporated is currently at 38 cents. Is I've even added a note. Sensual appeal. Also, don't type the ticker into the browser. Weird sexual Chinese page. Just letting you know, because I accidentally did that when when looking uh, up there, uh, Market Watch, um, instead of just going directly to the page, and it took me it took me somewhere crazy. I don't want to go back. Uh, potential websites. We have uh, shroominvestor.com watch list and then site index. Let's first go to shroominvestor.com. Um, and once again, these are just places for you to go when I'm not making stuff that's specifically on this. Um, and also just to, just to look at these things for yourself. Uh, they have a full diverse array of all sorts of great stuff. Uh, a lot of the things, the same things that we've been looking at, Loeb, uh, Red Light Holland, uh, Meadison, um, uh, and some that I haven't actually looked at, Mountain Valley, uh, Plant & Co, and uh, Core One Labs. There's a lot going on here. We go to Sci Index. And this uh, this page I, I actually like a lot more. One, it's more focused on psychedelics in total. Um, they have their top decliners, their top gainers. Um, the top gainers have, have changed recently, and of course their top decliners have also changed recently. Aeon Therapeutics, uh, Theramed Health Corp, Newscope, uh, Capital Corporation. And that really concludes our list. Uh, once again, I'm going to include a downloadable.xlsx link here. Um, this is just, you know, you're going to get it straight away. This uh list of psychedelic stocks boy if you could see how many tabs i have open right now you would your, your head would explode my head is about to explode right now from how many tabs i have open i hope you enjoyed this list of links i will have everything um available for you down in the description if you think i don't know what i'm talking about let me know uh, because i'll let you know back that um you when it comes to the stock market i am not the best person to necessarily consult on it, but um, I do think I have good intuition when it comes to this uh, psychedelics um, stuff. Stuff. If you think that I did a good job or just like the fact that I have gone out and researched all of these lists, all of these articles for you to be able to uh, click on yourself and research yourself, especially since a lot of these are very um, recent events going on, uh, Please uh, go ahead and give us a uh, give a subscribe. Um, I appreciate it. I haven't been doing a whole lot of videos recently just because of the holidays. Of course, it's been a lot recently. A lot that I didn't expect was going to happen has happened and has just continuously prevented me from being able to do this. Uh, but I'm glad that I am finally able to do this, and I hope to continue. Um, making more videos and keeping a good tempo running as I get into a schedule again.